this video is long overdue. I was going to make it straight after Christmas and then I didn't because I was super busy but you know what? Better late than never. So I got a lot of books for Christmas. I thought I would go through them and give you my thoughts, that kind of thing. But it's also for my birthday as well because that's Christmas Eve. The first, I got a wreck this journal which I'm so happy about because they're so fun. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of Wreck This Journal, basically it just tells you to do loads of stupid stuff. So you open it at a random page and look, bring this book in the shower with you and essentially it just gets completely destroyed as you fill more and more pages in. I've done a few already. Um, trying to find, oh yeah, poke holes in this page using a pencil and all the things are open to interpretation so it could get pretty crazy in here. Am I right? Next we've got One Day by David Nichols. I haven't read it yet. Uh, it's I'm long overdue with reading this uh, because everyone raves about it and it's supposed to be spectacular. Um, so I will get around to it eventually. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's all I can think of to say for that, but I'm really looking forward to that too. Yep. Yeah. Then we've got Psycho by Robert Block. I've been a really big fan of the film for a long time now um, and I thought I'll get around to reading the book eventually, I've been putting it off and putting it off but now here it is. Yep, I can't wait to get my Norman Bates on. That sounded a bit strange. Oh well. Now onto the ones I have read or I'm currently reading. I got quite a lot of graphic novels um, this Christmas or you know at least illustrated uh, books. So one of them was Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. See, I was sceptical um, when... I, I did actually have this on my list of things I wanted to read um, that people could get me for Christmas. And um, I was a little bit sceptical because I'd heard a lot of reviews saying, oh, it's absolutely terrifying. And I really like horror, so I was thinking, well, oh, maybe it won't scare me that easily kind of did. I mean, I suppose with it being a graphic novel you can't really control what you see. When you read a book you can sort of control to what degree you picture what's being described but with graphic novels and as with films it's like right there in front of you so yeah but th I'll just show you some of the illustrations without spoiling anything. They're gorgeous, look at that. And the pages are so shiny and the covers really nice and touchy-feely so I love it. For those of you thinking of reading it I would definitely say yeah go ahead but just a heads up there are some things in here that you won't be able to unsee. <laughs> it kind of lulls you into a false sense of security because um, there, are, there were times when I didn't want to turn the page because I thought there was going to be something really horrible and then there wasn't but <laughs> I'll, I won't say any more, I won't say any more, no spoilers, but um, yeah, definitely give this a go. I read it quite quickly as well because it's a, um, it's short stories and there's not much text. I also got The Sleeper in the Spindle by Neil Gaiman. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. It's so pretty. I love it. Just from the cover alone, you have this lovely thorny flower pattern and then the cover is actually transparent so if you take it off you have the sleeping girl there and you just look at these gorgeous Chris Riddle illustrations and they have left nothing out, absolutely nothing I mean, let me just find a good one, a particularly good one, they're all good look, that's gorgeous and then if you look even the page numbers have little cobwebs on them so it's just lovely, it's beautiful to look at and the story is really really good too so for those of you who like to read books with pictures in them or were just looking for a nice fairy tale to read pick this one up. Ah, oh, now I haven't had a look at this yet properly um, but it's how to draw comics the Marvel way, because uh, you know I love Marvel. My cousin bought me this. She knows I love Marvel, and uh, now I can give a go, at, give it a go at designing some of my own characters and stuff. So that'll be really fun. Takes you through everything, like just objects and and people and big monster things like Thing and Hulk and whatnot. So um, yeah, 
Looking forward to reading that properly. Oh no, this. I don't think I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I absolutely adore the film Labyrinth. It is one of my absolute favourites. It is right up there on the top ten, probably in the top five, because um, I love David Bowie and 80s and fairy tales, so it combines all three. And um, Brian Froud, who did all the concept designs, he's done a load of art books that tie in with that. And I was very happy to receive The Goblin Companion, um, because Oh, it's another one of those just really gorgeous books. It's got a lovely padded front and then inside it takes you through all of the goblins of the labyrinth you know, with beautiful illustrations and then tells you a bit about them and um, their backstory and uh, everything. So Anything from the Labyrinth universe, I will love it. And last but definitely not least, this was kind of a last minute thing picked up by my mum because she knows how much I love this character. The Bane Chronicles. Now, this is probably going to shock some of you but I haven't actually read The Mortal Instruments. I've only read The Infernal Devices but I love that series with an undying passion that burns in the very core of my soul. What I particularly love is Magnus Bane because I just think he's fantastic. Um, so when I found out that they were bringing out all these short stories about him, yes please. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm about halfway through it now and uh, it's hilarious, it's so funny um, but also very moving in places as well and it's just Magnus, those of you who are fans of Mortal Instruments you know what I mean when I say that, just just Magnus, he's, he's enough. So that is it for my um, Christmas birthday book haul. Um, Go read all of those, because they're all worth it. <laughs> so if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that palaver. And I'll see y'all next time. Ta-ta.